So I'm covering abdominal activation and although I'm going to be doing it lying on my back, abdominal activation is something that you could do in any position and I encourage you to do it whether you're sitting, you're standing, um, you know, you're at a red light, you're, you just want to be able to have those deep abdominals be there for you. Ironically enough, Mm, they don't need to work as hard lying down as they do if you're pushing something or pulling something or lifting something but it's a good place to be able to just focus on your deep abdominals and not worry about your alignment and your posture and other things as well when we start lifting weights on our back be it uh, like a tricep exercise or a sideline leg lift or something where we're, we're you know using the floor for support it's nice to have the foundation um, sort of covered. So, although it's often, um, well, it's not often in my set of exercises, I put it as one of the last exercises. Um, in the directions for the exercises, I have it right at the very beginning of taking your breath in and then slowly, gently tightening your tummy as you execute the exercise. So it's something that I do want you to do um, with every single exercise. So let's go and see what it's all about. Going down on your shoulder, rolling over, and with your feet hip width apart and knees hip width apart. One of the reasons I like this position is that when we lay straight, our hip flexors actually pull on your back and so it makes it harder for you to actually engage your abdominals to pull back against tight hip flexors so that takes the hip flexors out of the picture and what you want to become aware of is feeling your deep abdominals so I want you to feel first for the bony um, anterior parts or front parts of your pelvis You'll go, there's, there's bone here, and then it's soft, 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 because there's no more bone. It's just um, organs underneath the skin. And then you come back to the hard parts. Good. So these par hard parts are what's referred to the anterior, superior, il iliac spines of our pelvis. If you place the fleshy part of your thumb there, then allow your fingers to go down towards your groin. That's going to give you a lot of tactile opportunity to feel when you tighten your deep abdominal muscles. So the very first thing I'd like you to do is to take a nice relaxed breath in. And as you exhale, think about gently doing a Kegel, gently tightening your pelvic floor, either tightening around your rectum, and then that relax. On the next breath, we're going to try tightening around the vagina. Breath in and then just gently tightening. And if you are a male watching this, you could be thinking of pulling up on your scrotum, almost the same sensation as you would have walking into cold water. And then on the next breath, I want you to think about tightening around the urethra like you had to go pee but you can't get to the bathroom yet so breath and you're going to tighten and hopefully with one or all three of these you could feel some muscle activation underneath your fingers because what happens is the muscles that innervate our deepest layer of abdominals, our transverse abdominus, also innervates our pelvic floor. So it's like the pelvic floor is going, okay, come on, let's go, let's work together. And it's kind of as a nudge for your deep transverse abdominus. Now, we're going to do it again. And this time, once you tighten your pelvic floor, and you can choose one or all of the three cues that I initially gave you, you're going to then think about activating, engaging, or tightening. It's all the same thing. Muscles um, around and below your belly button. So breath in and then blow. 
and as you're blowing, hopefully you're feeling some tightening and that is your abdominal activation. You don't want to be doing a pelvic tilt. So pelvic tilt uses a very different set of muscles. So your whole pelvic area should not be moving, but you should be feeling as though you're, you're drawing in. For some people, it would be the same sensation of if you're putting on a really tight pair of jeans that you haven't worn in some time. Doesn't work so well now with stretchy jeans as an analogy, but if you could remember that feeling of just trying to slip in, and so you're making everything in the middle a little bit firmer, and in doing so, that's your corset muscles, your transverse abdominis, that's drawing in. It, the direction of the fibers are perpendicular to the six-pack abdominal. And so, in doing so, it's actually tightening and making everything firmer all the way around. So, as I mentioned earlier, you can do this whether you're sitting, whether you're standing. Um, I encourage people to do it throughout the day. Maybe think about doing a couple every hour until that just becomes part of every time you push, pull, lift, and carry. And for individuals that have never um, suffered from back pain or had any abdominal surgery or had babies, you know, these are all things that can disrupt our transverse abdominis activation. Um, but, you know, if you look at children and people with healthy backs, or people who have never gone through pregnancies, their transverse abdominis actually just tightens automatically when they think of pushing, pulling, lifting, and carrying. And for the rest of us that have had um, issues, you know, with, you know, whether we've had pregnancies or you've had abdominal surgeries or back pain, that muscle gets inhibited, it gets shut off. And it's up to you, um, and hopefully with guidance from your healthcare practitioner, to help you turn it on again. But it's, you know, you need to teach it to become automatic. So it's there to support you so that your back is supported by this lovely deep internal corset that you have there. So that's what it's all about when people ask you to engage your deep abdominals, wake up your transverse abdominis, you know, use it so that you have your built-in corset there to keep you solid and strong. Have a great day.